you see that? The construction site called Saudi Arabia. It's uh, in today's New York Times in the business section here. Um, I wanted to share this with you. And the reason is that we have a whole set of readings uh, on coastal development um, and the future of coastal zones internationally um, that we like to deal with in this course. Obviously the issue of development is an enormous uh, one for us. Um, a lot of the interesting topics that students choose in, in the classes on coastal zone management that I teach have to do with uh, places that at one time were pretty much left to nature and dealt with uh, damage from nature on their own are now overwhelmed by people and um, are stressed out because of it. My um, assignment to you then is uh, to read this article in the New York Times called the construction site called Saudi Arabia and this is from the Saturday January 20th 2008 New York Times and it has a terrific um, review of Saudi Arabia uh, wanting to launch itself into fully into the modern 21st century wanting to get away from oil as the only major economic activity um, and wants to deal with the large increase in population that's happening by developing um, a series of new cities basically um, here is a map that shows um, on, on it shows some of those cities and you can see that a couple of them down here are, uh, in particular, King Abdullah Economic City and the Jazan Economic City are um, on the coastal area of, of Saudi Arabia. These are huge projects. I mean, these are $27 billion cities each. Um, they create jobs for a million people and they'll have, one of them, King Abdullah City, will have two million people when it's completed and Jazan Economic City will have um, a population of about 250 is what they project. But what I want you to do is when you do the readings, I also have a reading on Dubai. Dubai is undergoing a massive construction project uh, which is unprecedented in the world, including some offshore islands that are shaped like the world and you can buy different countries and so on. Uh, the Palm Island which is shaped like a palm. Um, I have a reading also for you about the Dutch. Uh, you know, the Dutch have always controlled the coastal environment more thoroughly than any other country in the world. Um, and they are planning on building something similar to the Palm City, and there's a lot of discussion about whether they should do that or not. The point is, as we look at coastal zone management and coastal areas, we have to face the reality that many countries in the world want not to create sort of low impact, low um, maintenance, sustainable, natural kinds of coastal environments, but a lot of places in the world really view their shoreline, their beaches, their ocean as a place where they are going to showcase themselves. That's true in the history of humanity, you know, always ports were incredibly important and, and were often the centers of economic activity. Just think of, um, you know, places like Venice, which was once one of the most prosperous places on earth, um, Cairo and others. Um, think about how we can help people who are trying to really highly develop their coastal areas do it in such a way that they don't wreck what's there. And in fact, maybe if they have enough money, they can make the coastal zone flourish and also have uh, large populations and lots of economic activity. The one thing I would say to you is don't think that you can start uh, essentially saying we've got to stop this, we've got to get the United Nations to stop these countries from developing their coastal areas. Um, ain't going to happen, so we've got to find a different approach. Okay. I hope you enjoy those readings and see you in my coastal class. Bye.